Hey YouTube! If you want to learn how to make your own search bar in Visual Basic 6, then stay tuned! So the search bar in Visual Basic 6 is pretty much simple. You're just going to use the if statement. And now let's head on to Visual Basic 6. Now let's open a standard exe file and put in the text box. Now after that, you're gonna put the command button as the command button is where all the code is gonna be. Now let's, let's change the caption to search and leave it like that. Now all the codes will be in the command button and let's start with the coding. Now the code will be in the description below. Be sure to check it out. And yeah, let's start with the coding. Now the code is basically, as it's a the if function, you start with if. If, now the name of the target, which is text1. If text1.text is equal to, let's name it nads, then message box nads, else, if text one that text equals NSS, then message box NSS. Now this is basically the whole code. Actually, hold on. Let let's put and if. Yeah, this is the whole code for a search one. If we're gonna make a profile system, it works much as the same way. But let's test it out first. So let's type in. And it says, there we go, and let's type in nads. Yeah. Now, if you're looking for, for the profile system and you don't know how to convert it to that, then let's head on with the, let's continue with the tutorial. Now, basically, in the profile system, what you do is you get a new form. And let's put this as a caption, just that, as a sim, let's just make that. Hold on, and no coding here. Caption NSS. There you go. Let's name this as. Hold on. Let's name this as NSS. And let's name the other one. Let's name this one Nance. Alright. Now just most likely works the same way. Hold on, let me change this. Yep. So instead of putting the message box, what you do is make the form load. Now to make the form load, you just make it visible. So you're gonna put nads that visible equals true. Now if you want to unload the current form, just put in unload. And me means the current form. So that's it. Same as the second one, which is NSS that visible equals true. Unload me. Now let's put in a return button here. And use the same code, which is unload me and form one that visible equals true. Same here. And let's do the same thing. Unload me form one that visible equals true. And this is basically it. Let's put nines. Let's put NSS. That's about it. Anyways, you know how the like button works and be sure to subscribe. Bye.